Hi everyone, it's Narami Kanayaka from GospelThroughArts.com. I'm excited to speak about the Word of God with you. It's beautiful Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday uh, brings back great memories for me and I love Palm Sunday. And it was the day that Jesus entered Jerusalem on his first coming as Savior and King. It was his coronation. He was entering as the King of Kings. And uh, even though um, at that time, people took palm branches and shouted, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. They shouted Hosanna to him as he entered Jerusalem. But few days after, they cried, crucify, crucify him. And he was nailed on the cross and he died for you and me. And now he's going to come again for his second coming. Are you excited for his second coming? He's going to come on a white horse and he's going to be the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that he is Lord. Are you excited for his second coming? He will be coming. Are we being ready for his coming? I want to encourage you with the scriptures today and tell you that uh, what does really Hosanna means? My daughter's name is Hosanna. I love the name Hosanna. And when I picked the name Hosanna, everyone said, um, like my family said, why are you picking Hosanna? I said, I love that name Hosanna. And it means save us, Lord. Save us. God, save us. So um, it is like a praise as as name, a name of praise as well. And um, we can see that um, Jesus, um, uh, when he entered Jerusalem, they shouted Hosanna. And because they were convicted and they were convinced that he was Messiah and King, he, they cr cried out to him and he said, save us Messiah, save us. That's what they meant when they shouted Hosanna. And in Psalms 118 verse 25, it says, Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord, O Lord, I beseech thee, send new prosperity, save us. So the people took palm branches and shouted Hosanna and said to the Lord Jesus to save them. They wanted physical uh, battle won because they were under Roman law and it was so difficult. They were under great persecution. But it was not the time God to save them physically, but it was the time that he had to die for the mankind, for every man was born till today and to the days to come. He was going to die on the cross. That was the way he was going to save. Not only physically fight for them, but he was going to save them spiritually, that you have eternity endless days with him in heaven so even though they had this selfish hope that they would physically be saved from roman power we can see that um, they later find the real reason that he is the messiah and he came really to save us save them so why should you and i sing hosanna why should you and i shout hosanna we are shouting hosanna because we are following the example of Christ Jesus. You and I, we are shouting Hosanna and asking the Lord that his death and resurrection will save us, save you and me. And that by his stripes we will be healed, by his stripes our sins are forgiven. We are living in a life of humility, just like Jesus as he came on a donkey to Jerusalem. It's not that he didn't have wealth to come on a horse, but he came on a donkey to show his humility. And he knew that dying and living, that he would glorify God. Are you and I, by living, are we glorifying God? When on our death, are we glorifying God? Jesus, while he was living, he was called God's own son. And he said, God from heaven, as he was being baptized, this is my beloved son. I am whom I am well pleased. 
is the Lord God well pleased with you and me are we living and dying for his glory and because are we willing to serve Christ this is the life that you have got you and me have been chosen not to live for our own wealth not to live for our own good welfare or goodness but live for him to serve him to serve Christ so even though after a few days they all shouted crucify him crucify him and Jesus said on the cross father forgive them for they do not know what they're doing they do not know that I have come to die for them that they would have eternity in heaven there is no other God on earth or heaven who has died for you and me this is only Jesus Christ so if you have never accepted Jesus into your heart and you want to have only him in your heart if you have other things other gods with Jesus that some people say okay I will worship Jesus too but I have other gods as well I don't know I don't want to pick and choose one God there's not only one way they say but there is only one way you cannot have all the other gods and worship statues and have Jesus too you only can have one God and that is Jesus Christ he is the only true God he is the God who was humble enough to send his son Jesus for you and me to die for us so that we can have eternal life we are in his hands we are the clay he is the potter he molds us and makes us today of a, a bible study um, bible reading is isaiah chapter 64 i want to read that that is a beautiful chapter oh that you will ruin the heavens and come down and that the mountains will tremble before you as when fire sets to its ablaze and cause water to boil come down to make your name known to your enemies cause the nations to quake before you and when you did awesome things that we did not expect you came down and the mountains trembled before you since ancient times no one has heard no ear has perceived no eye has seen any god besides you who acts on behalf of those who wait for him you come to help of those who gladly do right who remember your ways but when we continue to sin against them you are angry how then can we be saved all of us have become like one who is unclean and all our righteousness acts are like filthy rags all are shriveled up like grief and like the wind of sins sweep us away no one calls on your name or strives to lay hold of you for you have hidden your face from us and you've given us over to our sin yet you lord you are father we are the clay you are the potter we are all the work of your hand do not be angry beyond measure lord do not remember our sins forever or look on us we pray for we are all your people your sacred cities have become a wasteland even zion a wasteland jerusalem a desolation a holy and glorious temple where our ancestors praised you has been burned with fire and all that we treasured lies in ruin after all this lord will you hold yourself back will you keep silent and punish us beyond measure our lord jesus he is coming again he is coming again and the earth is crying out to him come lord jesus come soon you and I, we will cry out to him, Come, Lord Jesus, come save us, Hosanna in the highest. But we have a mission and a task before Jesus comes. Every ear has to hear the word of God. Every ear have to hear and have an opportunity to accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior. And when they have had opportunity to accept him, then only our Lord Jesus will come in will be coming soon. I hope this blessed you as much as it blessed me. Let's pray today. Father, we come to you. Father, we humble ourselves before you and say, Lord, you are Messiah. You are King. 
You are the ruler, controller of our life. You are the creator of the universe and you still see us. We are the dust, but you still love us, have compassion on us. So Lord, we shout today, Hosanna, and say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. God, Jesus, come again. Come very soon. Our hearts are eagerly waiting for your arrival to save us, to take us to your embrace. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I hope this blessed you as much as it blessed me. I want to sing one worship song. Um, as this um, in Isaiah chapter 64, it was talking about being um, the potter's hand. So I had um, a song prepared. I hope it's there still. Yes, I got it. Let's sing together. Beautiful, wonderful Savior, I know for sure. All of my days are held on your hand. Your perfect Let me get the lyrics. Be beautiful to sing. I love the uh, music around, but I need the words, so I want to sing like this. Beautiful Lord, wonderful Savior, I know for sure. All of my days are held in your hands, crafted into your perfect plan. You gently call me into your presence, guiding me by your Holy Spirit. Teach me, dear Lord, to live all my days through your eyes. I'm captured by your holy calling. Set me apart, I know you're drawing me to yourself, lead me Lord I pray, take me, mold me, use me, fill me, I give my life to as it blessed me remember god loves you so very much he is the savior of your life and my life may we cry out to him hosanna today and ask him to come again very soon and he has promised soon and very soon he will come to save us to redeem us to take us to heaven you and i we have been saved and redeemed 
Then he died on the cross at the first coming of Jesus Christ. The second coming, he's going to come to take us home to the home that is prepared for you and me for eternity. Our souls, our spirits wait for him. Mine is waiting for my Lord Jesus, my Savior, my God. Hope this blessed you as much as it blessed me. I'm excited to go to church today. I attend the Lakeside Church, Toronto. We have Palm Sunday service happening today. Children will be performing as well. It will be a wonderful ex uh, celebration in Palm Sunday today. And um, we have Sunday, um, next Sunday as Easter Sunday is approaching and Good Friday service on Friday as well. So if you are in Toronto area, come. I welcome you to the Lakeside Church, Toronto, to join us um, with us to worship our Lord Jesus. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye.